is the leader of the opposition Liberal Democrat group on Cambridge City Council. Morning, Tim. Morning, Dottie. Normally, it's it's one of your jobs to scrutinise or criticise Labour, but, but you've got them doing it all by themselves at the moment. What do you make of the changes of the last few days? Well, I find it quite extraordinary, really. Um, the, ballot, the ballots closed about 10 days ago, um, and the people who uh, got re returned to carry on running the City Council, uh, the Labour Party, um, have just sort of self-combusted uh, in that period. Uh, the people who were fronting up their campaign, uh, Anna Smith and, um, and Alex Collins, who I was debating with on Jeremy Sellers' show a couple of weeks ago, um, talking about what the Labour Party was doing and how they were going to do great things for Cambridge, they're just not there anymore. And um, it's difficult to know, the people who voted Labour in those elections, whether um, what they voted for is what they're going to get. And certainly who they voted for is not what they're going to get now. I mean, the vast majority of those people, though, they, they wouldn't have been voting for Anna Smith or, or even for Alex Collis. They were voting for local representatives, their own ward councillor. That's how local elections work, surely. So does it matter, these changes at the top? Well, except for what Alex Collis has told us um, yesterday, um, of someone who now isn't even in the party that she was representing. Um, Labour are listening. Labour are more about power, position and process than service. People are losing faith in Labour. Labour are in disarray. I mean, those are important statements. Uh, we put our faith as a city in, um, in an administration that simply has fallen back into sort of into design warfare. Alex suggesting that one of the key issues where the Labour Party in Cambridge, she says, are split is on the congestion charge idea, the idea of charging drivers within the city and coming into the city from outside five pounds a day to to travel with a vehicle around the city centre what what is the lib dem position on the congestion charge tim in the election campaign and now um, we haven't changed um, we've said that the proposals that people were consulted on ha clearly had to change and we were going to um, commit ourselves to try and make those changes um, as we go to the next phase of the, um, of the whole project. Um, we, we, we listen to people during the election campaign and we're going to carry out what we promised to do. Um, and uh, Alex Collis's position on that um, really confused me because I think, and I thought that the Labour Party was saying something rather similar to that actually, um, and yet she's saying that she doesn't believe it. Um, which is astounding. Um, if that was their promise, uh, I, I think we expected people to believe what we said when we said we were listening and would make changes in the proposals. Um, we're ready to carry that out. Um, but if Labour aren't, I'm uh, shocked, and I think a lot of people would be. Are you concerned about how this is all going to move forward? Well, I am concerned because we are in a really um, tough period for many people in the city. Um, we are dealing with big and important issues like that transport issue. We do need clear and strong leadership. Um, my party remains re ready to offer that, but the Labour Party got elected and they really need to pull their, pull their socks up and pull together because it's very difficult for the city, it's very difficult for other parties to deal with a party that seems disunited, split, and anyone you speak to at any moment may not, not even be in their party uh, a few days later. Okay, Tim, thank you very much. Councillor Tim Bick, their leader of the opposition Liberal Democrat group on Cambridge City Council. Council